Now this game was against 2100 leeches player. It was a five minute blitz uh, with zero increments on the clock. And I was playing here as white. It was a very complicated middle game, but I found out my way. I had a very nice piece activity and that is what this video is all about. Piece activity, making your pieces on a right square, making sure that your pieces acquire the, the difficult squares, which the opponent is also fighting for. And how do you adjust to what open does and then eventually win it from there. So if you stay till the end, this will be a hell lot of instructive to you as well. Hey, chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga, and please do subscribe to the channel as well. If you like this video, which I'm starting out right now, it starts off with D4 open responds with knight F6. I go with bishop to G5, trying to attack the knight with my bishop opponent plays g6 uh i can take uh here open takes back opponent will still be able to put the bishop onto g7 and castle and that's not the purpose i don't want to trade off my bishop straight away so i went with c3 opponent plays bishop to g7 i go with e3 open now plays c5 trying to be aggressive uh and I, now i can take uh and then the queen will come out attacking the pawn and if I keep defending it, I'll be opening up my uh, queen side structure. This bishop is already in um, eyeing my rook. So I don't want to get into the, that line. So I went with knight to f3, defending the pawn further. Opponent plays queen a5 anyway. So that if opponent takes, my bishop is attacked. If I then save my bishop, opponent can take another pawn. And then things can crumble from there. So I took on the knight first. Opponent takes back with the bishop. And now I take the pawn to letting the opponent take with the queen. Uh, I was okay with this position. And then I went with bishop to d3. Open plays knight to c6. I place my queen on c2. At d6 my opponent. Maybe trying to place the bishop next. Uh, out or maybe just uh, trying to go to g4 straight away. I went with castling uh, to, to make sure that my king is in safety. Opponent gets the bishop on to g4 as kind of expected. And I just moved my knight out of the way. There is no pin, so this bishop can look at an empty square. I'm okay. Plus, I'm willing to trade off knights. And if that does happen, say opponent takes, I can take back with the e pawn. My pawn chain will be solid here. E file will be opened up where the king is there. I can get my rook active, you know, move my knight, and I'll be good with the game. So opponent castles doesn't take the knight. I went with knight to d2, improving the position of my knight. Open plays e5 and here i go back with the knight on to b3 attacking the queen again queen goes back to b6 and here i play queen uh, knight to c4 attacking the queen again improving the position of my knights gradually and making sure that they're active queen goes back to c7 now i get to ask the opponent to trade off the uh, bishop pair uh, bishop light square bishop which opponent denies and places the bishop on to e6 trying to attack my knight though it's defended i thought okay let me move away the knight i don't want to give anything if opponent takes this knight i'm happy opening up the a file as well i'll take with the rook or i can take back with the queen anything is fine so i got my knight onto d2 again just maneuvering my pieces onto better squares open plays rook to c8 i place bishop to f3 my idea is to improve the position of my bishop now attacking the knight as well and uh, open plays b6 here I was also okay if the opponent, uh, I'm, I'm basically asking opponent to play maybe uh, d5 and e4. I'm okay to give the central square, but my pieces will be better. I can get my bishop backwards again. My knight can somehow acquire the d4 square where the knight is willing to go, but cannot because of the pawn. So that's why bishop came here, forcing maybe opponent to play eventually e4 into my hands. Here I place a rook to c1, uh, making sure that my queen and rook are doubled up, just like my opponents. And now open plays d5. Open has started to walk into my plan. I just put my rook onto e5 uh, in the open. And now my open plays a5, trying to counterattack, maybe move my knight away from here because so that I don't acquire the central square. I went with a4, blocking the pawn straight away. Open places rook to d8. I get back with the queen onto d1. Now knight maneuvers back to e7, trying to maybe come to f5. And now I again offer the bishop trade. If the opponent takes, I take back my queen. Sorry, my queen will be as well active. 
uh, it will not be in front of the rook anymore. I'm happy to do so. So opponent doesn't let me do so. <laughs> Open plays queen to d7. All of that is happening. We are close on time as well. I'll just open the analysis board to uh, to showcase the time difference to 2 minutes 26 seconds against 3 minutes 7 seconds. Uh, here I took open takes back with the queen and I went with uh, knight to f3. Uh, just making sure that if pawn forward happens, I have this, uh, the open square again with the knight. Opponent gets rook to c4. I get my knight backwards onto d2, attacking the rook. Also defending the pawn with the discovered move of the knight, which was being attacked earlier. Now rook goes back to c7. I go with king h1, a waiting move. Open plays bishop to g7, another waiting move. And now I get with knight to b3. I was trying to find out the weakness in open structure and so my open was. Open went with h5, trying to expand the pawns on the king side now. I went with h3, solid. I don't want to go for h4. h4 is too aggressive i would say it's too weakening for my king to open with goes with queen to d6 and now i move my knight to g5 i just want my opponent to put the pawn forward again and weaken up the pawn structure and that's what happens and now i come back uh, on to f3 and now open plays knight to c6 here i play queen to c2 just lining up towards this pawn so opponent sees that coming and places king to f7 now I place the rook in the open file in front of the queen. Queen moves again to e6. And now comes knight to h4, attacking the pawn twice with queen and the knight. So that's how I build up the attack toward found the weakness and then tried to attack with multiple pieces. So open plays here f5, which was kind of strange because uh, you don't want to play f5, I would say, because I have a knight square easily available. Uh, and that is nothing torturing me there and if you ever play e5 e4 as well i can go to d4 as well with my knight so knight would be happy in the center so that was kind of a weird move but engine still says it's a balanced game as of now black with slight advantage and as the engine death rolls on might improve further for black but here there's a good line as well because after i move my knight and thanks to the pawn movement I have my, an, a fork coming, which is knight to g5, which would take the queen. And that's what exactly happens. Open moves queen to e7. And here comes the fork from knight g5, winning the queen on the spot and open resigns. So it was a good structure. Uh, both the players were fighting it out for peace movements. Not much of trades happening throughout. Move number 35, lots of pieces and pawns on the board. No pawn breaks happening, but what happens? A knight gets into an action quickly and does a fork and wins me the game. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it was instructive enough. If you did like it, please do subscribe to the channel as well. And I shall see you tomorrow again with some interesting and instructive content like always. I never miss a video any single day, no matter what happens. That will continue and I would like to have more of support from you guys. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.